Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through a drill that I came up with, uh, a fitness drill. And ultimately, the, the whole point of this drill is to help you to be as responsive and reactive as possible. So, well, I'm going to use a Wave Master for this. If you don't have access to a Wave Master, that's okay. You just get a partner to hold a paddle or an air shield for you because you're mainly going to use your legs. You can see situated around here, I've got this with lots of different cones. When you do this, you would do you would make sure they're pushed back a bit further, but for the purpose of the video, just so you can see what I'm doing, they're all here as they are. So what you do in this drill is you pick a cone or a marker to start with. You need to have 10 markers, and there are 10 around here. What you do is you start off at one marker, okay? You go in to the pad, and we're gonna work with turning kicks on this. So this is all about getting you to be as reactive and as responsive as possible. So you you move from one area to the next, you hit your target as quick as possible, and then you come back and move to the next one. So this is how it's gonna work. So you start off, you go to the pad, you chamber, you pivot, you turn the kick. Then what you do is you run back to that marker, you go down, you do your one squat thrust straight back up. Then what you do is you go into the pad and do two kicks this time. So this time you've got to alternate legs. So you go one, half switch if need be, two, then you run to your second marker and then you do two squat thrusts. You then get up, three, and you get the idea until you go all the way around and do 10. Okay, so it's kick, run back and squat thrust. Two kicks, run back, two squat thrusts. Three, three, four, four, and the drill proceeds. Okay, the objective is to go all the way up to 10. And uh, if you get through one round w without being as fatigued as you might expect, then go for another round. But the objective here is to go as fast and as powerful as you can. So you mustn't hold anything back on the kick. You mustn't hold anything back on the run, all right? As I said, these cones are a bit closer than I probably like, but just for the video, you can see what I'm doing. But make sure you put your markers a fair distance apart if you have the area to do so, of course. And, um, and then you've got your target as well. As I said, it could be a paddle or an air shield. Now, if you don't have enough room to have a circle of markers, then what I suggest you do is have your target stand at one side of the area and you dart back and forth between. So for instance, if my if I had this length of area here and my target was over there, what I'd do is run in, do my kick, run back to this spot, do the squat thrust, and then so on and so forth until 10 are completed. Okay, but uh, give that drill a go. Let us know how you get on, like and share the video and leave a comment about it and uh, and uh, enjoy it. Okay, it's, it's, it's gonna be tough, no doubt, because it's gonna be a lot of work on the, on the quads and, and the cardiovascular, but in any case, uh, give it a try and let us know you get on. All right, take care.